Hey guys, we're just looking for huntsman spiders here in the bark. Let me know if you see one. Hey guys, this is FT and she is a golden huntsman. Okay. So golden huntsman spiders are from the tropics, they're in far north Queensland. Now golden huntsmen are the biggest huntsmen that we have here in Australia and they grow about 17 centimetres in diameter so from this leg to the tip of this leg they can grow about 17 centimetres. Currently she's about 15. Now the golden huntsman is only one of over 1200 species of huntsman spiders. They're all quite flat spiders, some flatter than others and they often like to live under the bark of trees. They also get in people's houses and you can find them behind picture frames. And they're not too bad to have around the home because they can eat cockroaches, mosquitoes, and other creepy crawlies. Now, these guys produce silk from their back end, like all spiders do, but actually only half of the wild spiders make a web. So some people call this web, but it's not, it's just silk. Some spiders use that silk to make a big web, which they use to catch their prey, but huntsmen don't. Huntsmen actually hunt their prey. So when these guys hunt, they can run after their prey, launch and grab their prey and inject a little bit of venom from their fangs to immobilise their prey and they can wrap it up with their silk. Now they do have a mild venom. If she was to bite me, it would hurt. They can break the skin, a little bit of blood can come out. There are reports of people feeling a bit nauseous, maybe headaches and some localised swelling from a huntsman bite. We can tell this huntsman's a girl because of her palps. Now spiders either side of the fangs have these little finger-like things, so they've got their eight legs of course, and these little extra little appendages called palps. And on her they look a bit like fingers, okay? And that's how we can tell she's a girl, because with boys they've got little balls on the end of their palps. So boys have like boxing gloves on the end of their palps, and that helps them in reproduction. So these guys eat things like moths, caterpillars, they can take frogs and small lizards and even small mammals. So if you find one of these guys in your home, just know that they are good to have around. You may not want it living in your home, so if you get a cup or a little container, you can get the animal into the cup or the container and take it outside. They are pretty fast and unpredictable. They, they have these large legs so they can run very fast and that does freak out a lot of people, but the chances of them biting you are very, very slim. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're interested, feel free to subscribe, comment any questions that you might have about this little guy, or even if there's any other animals that you'd like us to cover.